My name is Mariette van den Munkhoff Vedder, Dutch by birth, and since 20 years I'm an American citizen, together with my husband Peter Vedder and my partner, we have been international mushroom consultants and traveled the world. And in that position, I got introduced to the biblical disease of leprosy in countries like India, South America, and very much so in Indonesia, where we also did live and work. It exists already 3,000 years, and still we are facing the social stigma around it. Leprosy sufferers are still being ostracized worldwide due to lack of awareness. The USA is no exception, as it was only recently, on August 13 of 2008, that the Hawaiian state delivered a long-awaited apology to former leprosy patients forcibly confined to a remote peninsula on the island of Molokai in Hawaii. We are sorry. We are sorry for the treatment. We are sorry for the suffering that you have been through. State Senator J. Kalani English told about a dozen former patients gathered on that Tuesday at a meeting hall. The entire state is with me today as I say this. English then read aloud a resolution the state and House passed in April apologizing to the former patients. This apology was finally a step into the right direction. Drugs to cure the disease were first administered in the 1940s. Patients were no longer required to remain at Kalaupapa, Molokai, Hawaii after 1969. Toward the end of the 19th century, the selfless devotion to leprosy sufferers by Father Damien is an exemplary conduct and an example to the entire world. In 1885, Father Damien announced he was a leper himself and remained so until his death in 1889. He became Saint Damien of Molokai, Apostle of the Exiles. The political and journalistic world can boast of very few heroes who compare with Father Damien of Molokai, as Mahatma Gandhi used to say. There should be more public figures like Mother Teresa or Princess Diana that did attract a lot of media attention. Talking about the social stigma that is still around in countries like Indonesia, we have to educate the people and also the leprosy sufferers. We need to hold the cost that the leprosy victims pay in being ostracized by society and the painful suffering endured by them with minimal medical care, shelter and food. The Novartis Foundation, on January 17, 2013, announced that it is making progress in the fight to eliminate leprosy worldwide. That is already a very good step in, in the right direction. About multi-drug therapy, the MDT, in treating leprosy, since 1985, more than 14 million people living with leprosy worldwide have been treated by MDT. The treatment recommended by the World Health Organization shrinking the worldwide prevalence by approximately 95%. According to the World Health Organization in 2011, there were 219,075 new cases reported from a total of 105 countries. Despite these successes, leprosy control remains at a critical juncture 
and knowledge of the disease is becoming less common. Moving forward, early detection and continued availability of free treatment are essential. The development of MDT changed the face of leprosy dramatically. MDT consists of three drugs, rifampicin, clofazimine, and dapsonel, two of which, rifampicin and clofazimine, were developed in the research laboratories of Novartis in the 1980s. Multidrug therapy has made it possible to treat patients, interrupt the transmission of leprosy and prevent disability. This works even for patients with the severest case of uh, leprosy. Now this multidrug is available, but still the world needs more awareness. The media should pay attention, the journalists, the politicians, to educate the world about this biblical disease, it has to stop. <laughs>